So this morning we received our first HelloFresh box and I'm really excited to see what's inside and whether it will unleash my inner chef or not. Hoping it helps with the diet too. Well I already love the packaging. How cool is this? Mission statement, sponsors, partners, love it. And then we're into the ingredients. So apparently you're supposed to have everything you need except salt, butter, oil and pepper to create some wonderful family dishes. Inside we've got some leaflets, a saucy looking envelope, hello fresh, and what looks like a recipe book, hello, and a sanctuary salt scrub sample of some description. I'll be trying that one out later. Always nice to have a cheeky little surprise in there, I think. Okay, so here's my ingredients for my three family meals and my recipe card. Ooh. Yeah. Yep, someone else is very excited for our HelloFresh meals for the week. The thing I liked about HelloFresh is that they give you the exact amount of ingredient that you need and supposedly avoid wastage so this is looking great for me apparently i'm going to be making garlicky prawns with mini roast potatoes and walnut parsley pesto pistachio and prune stuffed pork loin with mashed parsnips and mange too and spiced beef ragu with couscous and flaked almonds this is my scared chef face i'll be able to do it right so me and Flo are super impressed by this wool call, which means that this recycling bag contains pure sheep's wool, which is biodegradable and fully sustainable, which we love, and that's what our uh, delivery came in. The final thing I should probably mention is what's inside this saucy little envelope, which are a number of perks, as they call them, for partner brands, I'm guessing. So have a look through those now. So to continue my HelloFresh endeavours, I'm going to be cooking the garlicky prawns with mini roast potatoes and walnut parsley pesto. I'll let you know how I get on. Okay, first job done. Potatoes chopped into three centimetre chunks and water boiling. Potatoes parboiled and added to the sizzling hot oil and flat leaf parsley and walnuts chopped ready for the pesto. Not going bad so far. Potatoes are now in the oven for about 25 minutes, so I'm combining my ingredients for the pesto. So I've got my grated parmesan, chopped walnuts, flat leaf parsley, some cracked black pepper and some olive oil about to go in. The onions are now browning gently in some olive oil. My fresh cherry tomatoes are chopped, as is my garlic, ready to go in in about 7 minutes. Not long to go now. Hello Fresh update. Um, it's going well so far. I've got about five or six minutes to go so I hope you're appreciating this live broadcast of my cooking. Let's hope it turns out okay. Officially four minutes left to go and I've got my prawns, tomatoes, garlic, onions in the frying pan over a medium heat and my potatoes are nearly done and looking awesome. Look at those crispy bad boys. There we have it. About 30 minutes later, here's the finished result of my garlicky prawns with proper roast potatoes and a walnut and parsley pesto. Not looking too bad, huh?